Okay, I'm Jill Holland with the 2012 West Star class. Uh, today I'm interviewing Mayor Dale Kelly from Huntingdon for my leadership project. Uh, Mayor Kelly has been very influential in not only West Tennessee but all throughout Tennessee for Tennessee's success and growth over the years. Mayor Kelly has been Mayor of Huntingdon for 20 years. Uh, today he's serving as Special Assistant to the Governor. He's a three-term state representative. He served as Commissioner of Transportation and also Employment Security under Governor Lamar Alexander. He served four years as Carroll County Assessor of Property, two terms on the Huntington Town Council, and nine years on the school board. He also served five years on the County Commission. Uh, Mayor Kelly, could you please um, start out by telling us a little bit about um, your philosophy on, on business and um, the community? Uh, describe your career in, say, public service. Well, I've been very, very privileged over the course of my adult uh, life to have the opportunity to participate in a lot of different uh, areas. Uh, in business, in insurance and real estate business. Uh, I was in that business for, well, the insurance business for 17 years, and I've been in the real estate business uh, up until this day. So I've had the opportunity to be in the business world and to understand uh, what the business community is all about and how to be successful in that. But more importantly to me has been uh, in the public arena, uh, which I've been in public service most of my life. Uh, since I was 29 years old, I have uh, uh, held some uh, public office, whether it be elected or appointed, uh, uh, since I was 29 years of age. So to be in that arena has been a wonderful, wonderful experience in being able to uh, uh, see all the inner workings of government and to be able to participate in that re arena. And hopefully I've been able to make a difference at the same time. In addition to that, I've been involved in the sports world uh, for a lot of years and uh, having played basketball and baseball in high school and had the privilege of playing at Bethel University, basketball and baseball and uh, getting involved in basketball officiating and I've been in, I was in that arena for 45 years, either as an official or as a coordinator of officials and to be able to experience uh, uh, college basketball at the highest level, so it's been a great experience and a very learning experience and gives you opportunities to go and see places and make friends that you would never be able to make otherwise. And so after 45 years, I transitioned out of that a couple of years ago, but it's been a great experience and uh, so made a lot of great friends over the years because of that. So philosophically, I, I guess in tying all of those things together, that um, approaching everything uh, with an open mind and going into something with the expectation of being with, that, that you're going to be able to really enjoy what you're doing. And I've found that being able to enjoy the things that you're involved in uh, is the best way in which to be a success. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, then uh, you need to be looking for something else to do. But I've been privileged to be able to enjoy all the arenas that I've been in and uh, I've seen a lot of changes take place in all of those areas uh, ever since that uh, I've been engaged in that since my graduation from Bethel University a lot of years ago. Okay. Thank you. Um, in the community, could you describe some of the changes that you have experienced in Carroll County and in our community? Well, there's been many, many changes to take place in Carroll County over the years. We've had a transition from being basically a farming uh, uh, community and then into the garment industry in Carroll County. And uh, the garment in industry was a backbone of uh, the economy in our county for a lot of years. And we saw that, uh, that population, if you will, uh, that we saw that it all of that uh, garment industry went other places and we lost a lot of jobs because of that. So we've had a tremendous transition from the textile and the garment industry to uh, 
another phase of our economy and we have been recovering successfully I think in terms of, uh, of attracting new business and new industry uh, to our community. So that's been a great change that's taken place over the last several years. But I think uh, just as important as we look down the road is that we're going to see that there's going to be a lot of other great changes to take place in Carroll County. And I'll use some of the uh, examples of what's taking place in Carroll County, like Bethel University, uh, what's taking place there uh, in Huntingdon, the Dixie Carter Performing Arts Center, home of the Howell Holbrook Theater, has done wonders for downtown Huntingdon and for Carroll County and all the region around West Tennessee. And now that we have a 10,000, I mean, excuse me, a thousand acre uh, recreation lake in Carroll County that's going to have a great economic impact for the future. So that I think we can expect a lot of changes to take place over the next 10 years that people will be uh, uh, really surprised about. But I know that there's a lot of people that's, that's taking a good look at Carroll County now. Um, thank you. Um, what, any funny stories that you would like to relate as far as the community that you can think of? Oh, uh, there's, uh, I guess, we, we always have a lot of characters in, in, in every community, and certainly Huntington has uh, its share of them. And uh, so there's always some humorous things that happens, but I can't think of one particular thing that really stands out to me right now. Uh, I can think of a number of things as it relates to the basketball world when I was involved in, in college basketball, and I might relate to you the fact that Bobby Knight, speaking over the University of Tennessee at Martin, uh, said that Adolph Rupp once said that he had never seen a basketball official he thought could see very well, and that Will Rogers once said that he had never seen a completely honest politician. So he wasn't sure exactly what that said for Dale Kelly, but he guessed it meant he couldn't see where in the hell he's going. So there's always been a lot of uh, humorous things to happen in everything that you're involved in, and uh, I can tell you that when I was a commissioner of transportation and we were looking to pass the $3.2 billion road program in 1986 when I was a commissioner under Lamar Alexander, and we were having a room packed uh, a, with all the cameras blaring and hearings as it relate, related to the road, road program. And at the end of the day, um, one of the representatives there uh, said, Commissioner Kelly, we apologize to uh, uh, all the grilling that we've done here today, and we know that it's been a, a long, tedious process, but we want to apologize for that. And for whatever reason, I thought, well, Representative Cotton Ivey was, was the one who made that statement. And I said, Representative, I've been booed by as many as 24,000 people at the same time, so today was not a problem. <laughs> well, Lamar thought that was very funny, and he put that in one of his books, in fact. Okay, thank you. Um, could you tell us a little bit about what you want to accomplish with the rest of your life in our community? Well, my life has been pretty much dedicated to public service, and I'm privileged to have had that opportunity. Uh, the people of this town and this county has supported me uh, over the years, and we've made a lot of progress, but we have a lot, still have a long way to go. And I'd like to see us uh, build upon the foundation that we have laid, and I think that we can do that if we continue to stay focused on the things that are important, putting the infrastructure in place, and that's what we need to continue to do is to continue to put the infrastructure in place, and then whenever opportunities come our way, then we'll be ready, whether that be water and sewer, industrial parks, our educational process, which is one of the areas that we need to continue to, uh, to focus on to build our education foundation a little bit better than where we are today, needless to say. And so these are things that we need to continue to work on, and I think those are the things that I need to continue to be focused on. Okay. All right. Uh, in your personal life, do you remember an event that happened in your youth that had a major impact on your life? Yeah. When I graduated from high school, I, I wanted to go to college. But I hardly didn't hardly see out my way that I was going to make that. So I joined the Air Force. I spent four years in the Air Force, which was a major changing, uh, life-changing experience for me. 
and I wouldn't take anything for, the, for having done that because it helped me grow and mature m uh, mentally as well as physically and gave me the opportunity to <clears throat> secure a basketball and baseball scholarship that was to go to college. So that was important to me and it was a life-changing event. And that, I think, has got me started on the right road that I might not have uh, gone down otherwise. All right. If you could leave one message for future generations, what would that be? To get involved. <clears throat> I think it's important for every person, young people today particularly, is to get involved, learn what's going on in your community, be willing to get involved to uh, uh, help set the path for the future. And I'm privileged to have a mayor's teen advisory that I meet with once a month. And it's been a really great thing for me, and I hopefully it has for the, for the young people as well, is to learn about what's going on in our community and to encourage them to get involved for the future because they are our future. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you look back, what do you wish you had accomplished that you had not? One great, great disappointment is that we had a bird in the hand for a prison for Carroll County back several years ago. Governor Sundquist was the governor and uh, uh, with one vote before the county commission, they sent the, uh, it to a, a referendum, which I thought was a mistake on, my, on the behalf of the county commission. Uh, just by one vote, if they had voted to send a letter to the governor, we would have had a prison here. It was a minimum security prison that would have housed about 1,600 people, employed 450 people, about 1,100, oh, excuse me, $11 million annual payroll, and to all the infrastructure that it would have brought to our county and jobs, we would have never felt the downturn in the economy. Uh, we would not have been building an $8 million jail today in Carroll County if we'd had that prison. So that's been a great disappointment to me, and uh, it's one that I will always regret, and I suspect a lot of people in Carroll County will express the same regrets. Okay, uh, describe your philosophy on life. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I've always kind of taken life one day at a time, and uh, always get up in the morning expecting good things to happen. I've always taken the attitude that I'm an optimist because it doesn't make any sense to me anything else. And I think that's my attitude on a day-to-day -day basis. And any time that you run into uh, a brick wall, you don't retreat, you just turn and go another direction. So I think that's served me well and I expect to continue to do that. Um, how would you like to be remembered? Um, i just like for people to remember that I've been dedicated to my community and we've worked hard to make good things happen and uh, that Dale Kelly loved his community. Okay, I would agree. Mayor Kelly, is there anything that you would like to add to this for uh, the West Star alumni or uh, future generations? Well, it's a great program and I, I'm glad that you and others are involved in that because it's through those kinds of initiatives that we find leaders, it's going to make a difference for the future. And uh, I encourage people to take that same opportunity uh, to learn what's going on about government, their community. And it's just a, uh, I think it's a fun-filled life. Thank you so much, Mayor Kelly. We really appreciate you taking the time for this interview. My privilege. Thank you. Well, I hope that works well for well, you. Well, I hope. Oh good, it says it recorded it.